Just east of LA, there's an area known as the Cajon Pass. That's an incredibly important geographic feature for a number of reasons. One of the first ones is the fact that a number of very important transmission lines run through this, this corridor, and it's really a bottleneck. There's also an interstate, as well as an important rail corridor that goes right through this region. And in 2016, there was a huge wildfire that impacted this area. And in the southern portion of the perimeter of the fire, you could see there wasn't any burn that happened. And the one thing that we were really curious about was how vegetation was going to impact this transmission corridor in the years following. Since this area didn't burn, how would this vegetation now impact the corridor in the years ahead? So we decided to go out into the field and bring along a drone along with a partner of ours to be able to fly and see what the vegetation could look like in this, in this corridor. So during the flight, we wanted to capture three different things and apply it using drone to map. One was conduct a tower inspection. Two was build out some of the 2D products that drone to map could produce on the fly. And three, build out some 3D visualizations of the towers and also see where the vegetation could start to encroach. So now opening up drone to map in the field, we can get started. So what we did initially was run the data through and do an inspection. So in the field using drone to map, we were able to land the drone, pull out the SD card, and actually come in and look at this high detail imagery right in the field to see exactly where there might be issues on the insulators or other features and assets. And as we went through our imagery, we found a couple of interesting things. So as I zoom into this photo, you can see very quickly that there's a couple of avian nests up in the tower. So this, along with some of the other features of the inspection, give us a great way to look at all of this imagery right in the field. The second thing and third thing we wanted to do was actually take drone to map and bring all of this imagery and data to the back office for processing to build out the 2D and 3D products. So the first thing we were able to build out was an ortho mosaic. So here you can see all of the flight lines and locations that photos were taken by the drone. And as we zoom in, we have the ortho or the base imagery that's provided by Esri through ArcGIS Online. And let's turn on the ortho that was built out by drone map So here, drone map stitches together all the photos and produces this beautiful ortho mosaic and gives a lot of detail of the vegetation and everything underlying this corridor. As well, it provides a lot of 3D outputs, and this is really the third thing we were looking to do. So as I turn drone map into a 3D view, I can zoom into this area and turn on a couple of the other products that it put out. The one was a digital terrain model, which gives me the idea of the base elevation, as well as a digital surface model. So what is happening with the canopy? And all of these are being built out by a point cloud that's generated as drone map looks at all of the imagery and interprets the Z value of all of those points. So now we can actually take this output in the, the point cloud that DroneMap produced and bring this into ArcGIS Pro for some further processing. Inside of ArcGIS Pro, I brought my ortho mosaic in that was built out by DroneMap. And as we mentioned in the first part of this presentation, one of the main interests was to see how this vegetation that didn't burn could potentially impact this transmission corridor in the future. So I selected my ortho, I can click imagery on the top, and we actually go through and segment this imagery to find out where all of the canopy is in this image. And after we've done that, we get a great representation of exactly where all of this canopy exists. And now I can actually take this and apply this to the point cloud to start classifying the points that DroneMap built out. So I'm going to turn over to a scene view. So here you can see the 3D towers that DroneMap built out in terms of the points. And we also have vegetation. And so just by using the ortho mosaic and applying that classification to the points, we now know where all the vegetation is inside of this scene. And we can take ArcGIS Pro and go a step further. So we know where all the vegetation is, but how could it impact the corridor itself and the conductor? So here we actually use the 3D analyst tools to see where these points and this vegetation 
is within a certain distance from the conductor. And lastly, we can take all of that data and share it up into a web browser. So I have a browser open with no extensions. This is just a native Chrome um, application. And you can see I've shared the ortho mosaic into this. And I can walk through this scene and actually share out the point cloud and millions of points to people across my entire organization. So here we have the towers. We can pan and zoom and share this again with anyone in the enterprise who needs to access this data. And lastly, we can share out those great analytical results that were built by Pro. So we can see exactly where the vegetation could potentially impact the corridor and the conductor across this area. So you can see if there was a fire this year or next, Drone Map helped us to look and see exactly where vegetation could potentially impact the conductor. Thanks.